Cocklebur is a summer annual weed that can be found growing throughout the United States. The plant's stiff hairs can be rough to the touch, and its prickly burr seeds easily stick to skin, clothing, and animal fur. Cocklebur is a self-pollinating plant, so it can overtake pastures and landscapes quickly. Additionally, cocklebur is highly toxic to animals that ingest the leaves or seeds. In this video, we'll show you how to identify this weed, how to get rid of it from your property, and how to prevent it from growing back. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Cockleburs are annual weeds, meaning they go through their whole life cycle, produce seeds, and die throughout one growing season. Cockleburr emerges in spring, and the stems will usually grow upright with multiple branches. These plants can grow to be 2 to 4 feet in height. The leaves mostly grow in an alternating pair arrangement. Each individual leaf is generally a triangular shape that grows up to 6 inches long. They have 3 to 5 lobes and toothed edges. Both sides of a leaf are covered in tiny hairs. A single cockleburr plant grows clusters of flowers from June to November. These clusters contain round flower heads and ovular burrs. These oval-shaped burrs contain the seeds. The burrs start green in color, but will brown as the plant completes its life cycle and dies. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Cockleburr can grow where the soil is disturbed and exposed to the sun. Common sites include, but are not limited to, barnyards, pastures, fields, and wooded areas. The plant is tolerant to a variety of soils ranging from moist clay to dry sand, but grows best in soil that is slightly moist underneath the surface and contains organic matter. Look around your property and take note of where cockleburr is growing and where it can grow. Look out for seedlings emerging from the soil in spring, and look for more mature plants deeper into the summer. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep people and animals out of any treated areas until after products have fully dried. To eliminate cockleburr on commercial or residential properties, use a selective post-emergent herbicide that's labeled not to injure your property's turf grass. In cool season grasses, we recommend 2,4-Diamine. The labeled application rate for spot treatments with this product is one quarter of a pint of product mixed into three gallons of water, or one and one third fluid ounces of concentrate mixed into one gallon of water. In warm season grasses, we recommend Fahrenheit herbicide, for spot applications, mix 0.2 ounces of the product per 1 gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet. Keep in mind that when making applications over St. Augustine grass, Bermuda grass, or Zoysia grass, temporary stunting or chlorosis may occur. For either of these products, we recommend you mix and apply your herbicide with a handheld pump sprayer and use a surfactant like Nanotech to enhance the effectiveness of your treatment. Nanotech is a non-herbicide product designed to improve the adhesion and penetration of pesticides onto treated surfaces. When using Nanotech, just add one fluid ounce per one gallon of solution. Spot treat any cockleburr plant you've found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated, and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. A follow-up application may be necessary if signs of recovery are observed. Reapplication intervals with 2,4-Diamine range from 21 to 30 days. Reapplication intervals with Fahrenheit range from 4 to 6 weeks. Applications are most effective when the plant is actively growing before seed production. If the plants are close to producing seeds, you may need to mow the plant to prevent the weed from spreading. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. To limit the spread of new cockleburs onto your property, newly emerged plants can be manually pulled from the ground. If burrs have formed, inspect the area, your clothes, pets, and livestock, and dispose of any burrs you find in the trash so they don't spread or remain in the soil to grow later. 
One of the best ways to control weed development in lawns is to mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick growing density. A lawn dense with taller trimmed grass is better able to choke out weeds and prevent them from establishment. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop weeds like cockleburr from spreading throughout your property, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.